Hello and welcome, I'm your host KB and you're watching The Retrospective. Crow is a perfect example of a 90s property which is almost completely faded into obscurity. Now, as a kid, I enjoyed watching the show and have fond memories of it, but as an adult, I've struggled to find anyone in my social circles who even remembers this show. The show, simply named Crow, was a children's animated TV series produced by Children's Television Workshop and Film Roman, and was first aired in 1993. The show has what I consider a pretty cool and interesting setup, with the character of Phil, a woolly mammoth, who's revived in modern times and tells tales of his prehistoric friends. If you look beyond the goofiness of a talking woolly mammoth, which is revived after being frozen in ice, it is a pretty different idea for the time and made for unique storytelling. These stories revolve around Crow and his friends in their home of Woollyville. Crow, whose name is taken from the term Crow Magnon, a primitive Homo sapiens species, is adopted by a more primitive Neanderthal family, whose limited intelligence is a source of much of the show's slapstick humour. When Cog jump on board, Rock gonna fly real far, all the way to cave. <laughs> jump! Jump! Ouch! Oh, ding spoon thingy need more weight. Jump! More out. Spoon thingy need more, more weight. I'm willing to bet life on it. Ouch. Crow's seemingly advanced intellect is also the focus of most of the show's storylines, with him working on new skills and inventions to help overcome the issues of daily primitive life. The show also has some educational elements, like Phil explaining to Crow, and thus the audience, how certain items work. You see, when you blow on a whistle, the air vibrates and makes a sound. All sound is vibration, you know. Crow and his family live harmoniously alongside the mammoths, who appear to be a lot more advanced, and often provide the Neanderthals with help and guidance. Crow is often joined throughout these stories by his mammoth friends, which include the young Packer and Steamer, as well as Phil, who's relaying these stories to the audience. In modern day, Phil also befriends humans Mike and Dr. C, whom awoken him from his frozen slumber. Each episode usually opens with Mike and Dr. C as they are faced with a problem or situation which reminds Phil of a story from his prehistoric years. Crow and his family do come up against some villainous foes who are generally trying to eat them, but they are only featured in a few episodes. The main antagonists here are a purple saber-toothed tiger named Selene and a group of direwolves led by Big Red. Bringing these characters to life was a solid cast, which featured voice acting royalty like Frank Welker and Jim Cummings. The production values overall feel quite high, with solid animation, which sees a fun contrast between the current day and prehistoric settings. The show also features what I consider one of the most underappreciated theme songs of the decade. <laughs> The show is very well done and is pretty fun to watch, so I'm not entirely sure why it didn't catch on with audiences. It only ran between 1993 and 1994 and was cancelled after a shortened second season. Of the 20 episodes produced, only a couple of episodes were released on home video, which today are nearly impossible to locate. Now, I would be super interested to see this show released on DVD, 
but that's highly unlikely. So listen as Phil takes us back to wonders of long ago And weaves a tale of Wooly Bill and an Ice Age boy named Cole As always guys, I really do appreciate those of you who continue to watch and support the channel. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of The Retrospective.